everyone. Welcome to a godly home. This evening I am going to be making a homemade pizza from scratch. And if you have never made your own dough, it is so fast and so simple and you do not need any extra equipment. Now I am have been inspired to do this tonight from Nessa's Nook and Little House Happy Home who has been making pizzas this week. And even though I'm super tired tonight, I am craving pizza so bad that I'm going to make one. It is 8.30 at night and I'm just getting around to starting my supper. All right, I have started by preheating my oven to 425 degrees. Now I'm going to put one teaspoon of yeast in here. I keep my yeast in the freezer in a Tupperware container so it stays fresh. Then kosher salt or any kind of salt, a half a teaspoon. Then you're going to want a teaspoon of sugar. Then some oil. I like olive oil for this part, but you can use any kind of oil, vegetable oil, canola oil, whatever you've got. We want roughly two tablespoons. Then we're gonna put in a cup of warm water. Warm, like warm right here on your wrist. Not too hot, not too cold. Give that a little stir. Okay, now I've got some all-purpose flour. I like King Arthur, but unbleached. But use whatever you've got. We're going to start with two cups of flour right in there. We're going to stir that in. Okay, now we'll use up to a half of a cup of flour more. But we'll start with about a quarter of a cup in there. Gonna put our hands right in to the bowl. We're gonna knead right in the bowl. And what we're looking for is a smooth dough that's not super sticky, but not dry. Okay, now I'm just going to set that aside. That's it. The dough's ready to go. I'm going to wash my hands and mix up the sauce. I'm not even going to cover that because we're going to put it into a pizza pan so fast there's no need. Okay, for my sauce, I'm going to mix up a big can of plain tomato sauce. Now, whatever I don't use, I will just pop into the freezer to either use for spaghetti or next time I make pizza. But this is what I keep in my pantry because it's multi-purpose and it really makes a delicious pizza sauce. If you're buying a can of tomato sauce for this, just one of those short stubby cans about that tall is plenty for one pizza. Okay, I got a little sugar here because it tends to be sour. Then I've got some garlic powder. I'm not a big garlic fan, so add a lot if you are. Okay, 
Then I've got just some oregano. You can use Italian seasoning. And I will give it a stir. All right, now I am going to move right on to getting out my toppings for my pizza and we will get that assembled. Okay, for this step, I like just plain vegetable oil because it makes a crispy, crispier crust, but you can use whatever you want and this is just a dollar store pizza pan. Right from Dollar Tree. I've had it for years and it holds up good. Okay, put a good amount of oil on there. Now, I'm going to put that dough down. Okay, and now once I press it out just a little bit, I'm going to flip it right on the sheet. And now I'm going to make my way around pressing it out. Okay, and I'm squeezing the edge here just to make a lip around the pizza pan. Even out the bottom. Okay, on goes my sauce. I'm going to put a little bit of extra sauce and you'll see why in a minute. Because I am going to be putting some of Vanessa's freeze-dried pineapple on here. And if you use freeze-dried pineapple or dehydrated pineapple, you want to make sure you put that right down on the sauce layer so that it can rehydrate, otherwise it burns. I know because I messed up the first time I used it. And I love pineapple. So I am loading it. This is going to be a Hawaiian pizza the way that they're done in Canada when I was a kid. Um, sometimes we'd go into Canada to the Pizza Delight and get a pizza there. Oh my gosh, better than Pizza Hut. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm going to add my cheese. If that was canned pineapple, it would go after the cheese. About two cups of cheese is what I put on, which is eight ounces. And I know somebody's going to ask me the diameter of my pizza pan. I do not know. I didn't think to get out the tape measure and measure it. Okay, it doesn't much matter. I've used this recipe for every size. You just get a little thinner or a little thicker. All right, now... I've got the bacon bits, and on they're going. Okay, and I've got some, where'd they go? Oh, right here, colored peppers from my freezer. And on they're going. Oh, 
Okay, and then I've got some pre-cut purple onion here. Let's get all of that on there. Okay, it's going into the oven, 425 degrees, that is the temperature, and um, my first indication that this is getting close to being done is I will smell it, and then I want it to be very brown on top. Okay, I'll see you when it's done. Okay, there it is. I like to cut my pizza with scissors. And that is what it looks like, my friends. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.